this is part three of the Volo Auto Museum in Volo, Illinois. Outside the Treasures of the Vault building is the screen-used lifeboat from the 2013 movie Captain Phillips. This was the vessel that Tom Hanks spent a lot of time in for the nine weeks of filming. The bolt holes were actually shot at with a gun. This is a big monster truck called the Brute Boss Hog. This is a trackless steam road locomotive, which is powered by two 1905 steam engines. This is an 1895 caboose that was used on the Grand Trunk Railroad for over 70 years. It is very well restored, and you can see what a genuine caboose was like. This is a unique 1949 Spartan RV. A wealthy Texas tycoon ordered this bus to be custom built, but the company went out of business before it was completed. One of the employees purchased the unfinished project and finished it up for use. Then it sat abandoned for many years until Volo got a hold of it and restored it. Now onto a time before automobiles. This is an 1840s wagon that could carry a lot of cargo. Of course these wagons were built for that purpose, not to carry the people. Also Pappy is the driver. This is a chuck wagon that was used for meals. It would haul the food and cooking equipment of the caravan. This is a US mail stagecoach from the 1890s. These stagecoaches, many employed by Wells Fargo, would travel the western trails from stage stop to stage stop dropping off and picking up mail. This is a genuine 1930s tourist cabin that was built somewhere along the American roadside as a convenient and inexpensive cabin to spend the night. A cabin like this would probably only cost about $2.50 per night. Now entering the camper building, there is a lot of vintage memorabilia lining the walls. And this is a 1932 covered wagon, the first factory produced camper. The interior is almost entirely original and untouched since the 30s. This is a 1928 Ford Model A house car. These ended up being used in the depression by many people who couldn't afford homes. This is only one of two known to exist that were built by Ford. This is a 1934 covered wagon. This one was more luxurious than its green counterpart. A 1936 Masterbuilt Scout. This was the biggest and most luxurious camper car produced by Masterbuilt. All these campers are very beautifully restored. This place gives me a lot of House on the Rock vibes. This is a 1938 camper car, spelled with K's. I'd say it's pretty well furnished and it has some standing room. A 1948 air float land yacht, which has round windows like a yacht. This 
This is a 1955 Mobile Lodge, one of the earliest and smallest campers of the 50s. This miniature train sometimes gives tours of the museum complex. The next exhibit houses a bunch of fiberglass finned boats of the 50s. These were short-lived auto-inspired boats with some interesting designs. I like this pink one, that's pretty cool. These boats have bright colors, chrome trims, big fins, and other cool features. I wish boats still look like this. These didn't really succeed because people wanted bigger boats by the 60s, and because they are stylish, they're a bit expensive. This structure will soon house a 1920 Herschel carousel with hand-carved animals. It is being restored right now, but it is supposed to open in 2020. I will definitely return for that. They have some old bumper cars and kiddie rides. This barn has some tractors inside, like a 1953 Ford 8N designed for winter farming. I must again say they do some great restoration jobs with the artifacts here. They look brand new. A 1937 garden tractor. That's a big Daffy Duck. Here are some carousel horses that will possibly be on the carousel. This is a replica of a Harrier jump jet. They can do vertical takeoffs and landings, but this one is special because it was built for the movie True Lies. Then it sat in the desert for a long time, then it was reused for the 2012 Avengers movie. The backside was crushed by Hulk while they were fighting on the Hell Carrier. It took Volo two years to restore this plane after the Hulk crushed it. Outside they have some old cars out, like this classic pink Cadillac. This is a 1950s Fuga Magister, a French military training jet. There's a Vietnam era Huey. All right, now I'm gonna head into the combat zone, the military museum. They have a Willys Jeep out front. There are a bunch of war dioramas in here with real vehicles. That's a World War II Russian Maxim machine gun. There's another Willy's Jeep. The classic motorcycle with the sidecar. This is an armored German Hanamag from World War II. I've never seen one of these anywhere else. a big German howitzer, and the MG34. This is a Korean War camp scene.
this tank thing was used in Vietnam. They have a lot of display cases full of artifacts from 20th century wars. Here's some World War I artifacts. Those carved shells are World War I trench art. This guy has a gas mask on. Some Nazi artifacts. Africa Corps artifacts. Some Japanese relics. A statue of a World War II Air Force pilot. That's a piece of a downed German plane. And the cockpit of a downed American plane. Korean War relics. There's several cases full of American Vietnam items. Those are Ho Chi Minh sandals, along with an AK-47. And here are items from Middle Eastern wars of the past decades. This currency was retrieved from Saddam Hussein's vault after Baghdad fell. The military museum here is bigger than a lot of other military museums, and this is just one exhibit here. Now I'm leaving the premises of the museum. I do also want to mention that an animatronic dinosaur park will be opening here in 2021. Outside this building, there's a little recreated Texaco gas station. There are a lot of antique malls here at the Volo Complex. This one with a Texaco station out front will be the first we go into. They have gas station attendant mannequins and a mobile gas gas tank. Some neon signs. And there's some trolls and a crazy cat lady action figure by Archie McPhee. That's some construction equipment outside the museum. This is the entrance to the other car showroom that leads to two other buildings of the antique malls. All these cars in here are for sale, so it's really fun to browse in person. Antique car sales is actually the big business of Volo. It's probably the best place to get an antique car anywhere in the country. They do have a diverse group of autos that are available. You can check the website to see what they have in stock or even purchase an antique auto online. I certainly would take just about any one of these, but they're pretty expensive, so I'm just going to enjoy looking at them.
I'm now speedrunning through the antique malls because I'm low on time. By the way, plan a lot of time if you're visiting. They have the largest collection of Hot Wheel toys that I've ever seen. There's the M&M Boys. Walking through a tunnel to get to the next building. The antique malls here are very extensive, but otherwise are just like any other antique mall. But they do have a lot of great stuff. There's some old Disney toys, along with a Smurf, and Mo of the Three Stooges is back there. And there's the head of Mark Twain. This is a massive museum complex and antique collection. It's one of the best places out there, so I highly recommend that you come and visit Volo for yourself. Please check out my other videos, and thanks for watching.